Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Today, I am looking at Wings of St. Nazaire. Now, despite the look of this, this is actually a modern game. Uh, this game is currently an alpha. It, it's uh, They're really looking to uh, develop it out, flesh it out. So this is just a very simple demo to show the graphics engine they've worked with. And uh, it is a modern graphics engine. It's built on Unity 3D, but they've tried to make it look like uh, Wing Commander, which was originally released in 1990. You can see the spacecraft as they fly by. They are just sprites which are being rotated and scaled. Uh, that is, you know, a purpose, you know, design decision by the developers. The original Wing Commander, it uh, was the first one of the first space games that uh, of the modern era that deliberately chose to use sprites which were scaled and rotated rather than 3D polygon models, which really had been the standard for a few years. And that was because Chris Roberts really wanted something that looked more cinematic and he felt that the abstract polygon models which were currently being used, that there weren't enough polygons and details to really do his vision of space justice. So uh, that's why Wing Commander, the original Wing Commander, looks the way it did. Um, now this is obviously trying to ape that look. They've scaled everything down. They've Actually the rendering size is like one third of this and then it gets scaled up. They uh, have a whole bunch of interesting things going on here, but uh, if you look at their blog, they will explain, they have a bunch of explanations for what they're doing and how they're trying to improve the text and make things readable, but still make it look like it's a turbocharged DOS game from 1990. So here we go, look, everything, a lot of these things are just flat sprites being very carefully moved around. Now, the other game that it reminds me of in terms of graphics is uh, like the, the Sega Coin Ops, Afterburner, G-Lock, um, you know, Outrun to a certain extent. There's a the bad guy there, right there. Let's shoot him. Now you can see how he rotates around me as I uh, come in close. So I'm just flying this with the mouse easily enough. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> So the sprites of the spacecraft, they actually have them viewed from many angles and they just scale them and rotate them according to their distance from the, t from the target. They have a lot of uh, flexibility with this game engine, but it also means that things like the explosions and the effects can be really quite impressive. I mean, you know, sprite engines are not what are used these days, but they were developed to quite a state of the art back uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. There we go, look at the thing exploding, leaving clouds of dust and explosion. It looks great! And behind it, we have another spacecraft. Now, the large capital ships, those are all rendered in full 3D, because otherwise they would look kind of weird. I mean, that was a problem with Wing Commander. When you flew back to fight to uh, land at the Tiger Claw or whatever, it always looked really tiny because you only had a sprite for it. So it would have a very small number of degrees of rotation. So it would jump from one angle of rotation to another. It never really felt like a large spacecraft. So the, the large ones here are correctly rendered, although yeah, I think they deliberately make the sprites look jaggy or make the pixels look jaggy. They turn off a lot of anti-aliasing. You know, there's a bunch of artistic decisions going in to make it, oh, making this look the way it does. It's almost doing the opposite of what Enemy Starfighter is doing. Enemy Starfighter, uh, if you know, is one of my most, you know, longed for games. And their thing is all low number of flat shaded polygons, right? They're not having many textures involved. They're not having, uh, you know, they're not having texture mapping. They're not having millions of polygons. It's all minimal, very clean looking. Oh, is that a bad guy? That is a bad guy. He's shooting at me, but I <laughs> could always be a friendly fire incident. Now let's try some of the different weapons here. Whoa. Well, and then spacecraft there. Now, wait a second. That is the Saint Nazaire of the title. Saint Nazaire 
is, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but it is a port town in the west of France. And in World War I, it was the main place where the US uh, disembarked its troops for the, uh, the ground battle in Europe. In World War II, it was first taken by the Germans uh, and used as a U-boat base. And then towards the end of the war, it was recaptured and it was used again uh, to deliver troops to the front line from the, the US. These are the bad guys here, and I'm just using my afterburner because... You know, I don't think the bad guys can actually shoot me. There's the lasers and everything flying past me, but I have yet to die regardless of how how foolishly I've been flying around. Uh, there it is a very, very large ship, and I expect that I will be skimming the surface of this thing and blowing up turrets and stuff as soon as they actually release such features to the game. So we have different weapon systems. You have... Oh, yeah. Ripple... The LTAC, Neutron, and all of them at once. I guess the Ripple is, yeah, all of these. And then there's a couple of different missiles. Phoenix, which I can't fire until I'm locked on. There. Now actually getting a good look at this. Really is. I like the design of this. Clearly a bad guy ship because its engines are red. The good guys have blue engines or yellow engines and much more friendly colors. Ooh, there's a sun there, we get a planet, and uh, let's see what else is going on. This is this is where my video starts to lose a little bit of coherency because I'm not really sure what to look at. But let's kill some more aliens. Ah, yes! Speed! So this is, this is a great job of imparting the notion of speed. <laughs> nice! Okay, where is... this is another hostile spacecraft here, I guess. It looks... it's supposed to be a carrier or something. It just looks like a scaled-up version of the fighters right now, but I have to say, I kind of like it. Uh, also, I point out that if you tap the roll keys twice, it does what the game describes as a barrel roll. Nope, that is an aileron roll. It's not a barrel roll. We all know that, right? I've been called on it far too many times. Let's try another bass. Hostiles incoming! Yes! <laughs> it never grows old, does it? Never grows old. So yeah, this game is... This is just an alpha on their website. They have an interesting blog where they're talking about their technical... You know, their, their ideas and what they're doing technically to make the graphics look the way they are. They've talked about a crowdfunding campaign. I mean, there's only three of them right now. One of the... I mean, there's really one guy that's coming up with a design and... Uh, oh! Let's go after him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd really like to see this developed into a full game. And, and so they don't actually have a crowdfunding campaign just yet, so... Stay patient play the demo, muck around with it, and just appreciate that it has quite a cool look going on here. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. It, the game is Wings of Saint Nazaire. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.